an apparel uh, shop wants to manage their items which it sells write a python program to implement the class diagram given below so apparel is being a base class and cotton and silk are two classes which inherits apparel the class apparel apparel has item id price item type and it has a counter static variable it's a public counter and using constructor we initialize price item type uh, item id is automatically must be generated using counter value then we have calculate price is the method uh, apart from this get item id get price get item type or the getters set item set price is a mutator setter cotton has attribute discount silk has an attribute points here we uh, initialize price and discount here we initialize price alone so we have method calculate price overridden method calculate price here also overridden method calculate price here we have method names get points and here it is a get discount it is a getter so let's look at one we'll look at one by one and uh, we'll start from apparel and manage one by one look at the business rules apparel class if they set initialize uh, we'll have to have all the attributes uh, get all these methods in place then when when we work on the methods initialize static variable counter 200 in the constructor auto generate item id starting from 101 and we need to have a prefix zero c for cotton apparels and s for silk apparels example like this uh, c101 s101 etc calculate price add five percent service tax on the price of the apparel and update attribute price with a new value so it is simple so we take all the attributes counter the static variable public and uh, we are uh, starting to initialize 200 and uh, id should start with 101 so that is why we take item my type item type that's a parameter we take it from them because they have given it very clearly that it has item type so item type should be a silk or cotton so we take first letter that is why we take the slicing if it is silk item type will have silk we take item type of zero means we take only yes like this we take then apparel counter is converted to string and append appended to this so item id become yes 101 or c 101 we have a getter so get price set price and all that then uh, get item type everything is there calculate price simple so we need to apply five percent uh, tax for the apparel so look at the cotton class so we'll be parent constructor from the child from child constructor pass cotton as an item type they have given it very clearly calculate price update attribute price of apparel class based on rules given below add service tax on price by invoking appropriate method which means there will be add service tax above in the above there is a add service tax so we'll calculate price if you do that service tax is added then we'll have to apply discount on price then we need to add five percent VAT on final price since we inherit we'll have to use class name in a base class name called enough apparel so we call out uh, parent class constructor we pass price and cotton as a uh, as a as a value to the uh, to initialize parent class constructor so we have a additional attribute named as discount that is getting initialized within this constructor so get discount is simply a getter calculate price before we, we calculate uh, we calculate price of parent class method so that is why we use a super function using super function we call parent class method calculate price so they have clearly mentioned uh, add service tax on, on price by invoking appropriate method of apparel class so it means uh, apparel class has a, a cotton has appropriate method of apparel class so apparel is the parent class so it has a method named as calculate price then we get the price then we apply discount if they because the discount attribute will have a value we apply discount then we calculate final price by adding the five percent service tax then using this value we set the price price is in a parent class it is a private attribute look at this it is a private attribute we need to use we cannot directly access them we need to use setter for that that is why we set the price silk apparel while invoking parent constructor from child constructor pass silk as item type calculate price update attribute price of apparel class based on rules given below add service tax on price by invoking appropriate method of apparel classes we'll have to do the same super of calculate price uh, identify points earned based on rules given below silk apparels with price more than 10,000 earn 10 points anything less than or equal to that earn three points initialize attributes points uh, with identified points add 10 percent vat on the price perform case and comparison 
again it's the same so we initialize points after that initialize is a zero then we call parent class constructor anything is fine you can do this or that uh, then what we do we have a getter get points that's fine then calculate price we calculate we call the parent class method apparent class method then we calculate price here so we get the price then we check if the price is greater than 10,000 then points set to 10 otherwise points set to zero then the new price is test after adding 10% service tax 10% VAT uh, 0.10 so it's something like uh, 10 divided by 100 so we get 0 0.1 price plus price into 0 0.1 gives us 10 percentage of the price so it is being added finally then the price is set so now we create an object c1 is equal to cotton of we pass a value and then we call out uh, calculate price after calling out calculate price then we, we simply print it you can try with uh, yes, silk also you can create an object and see how this works if you run this you will get the output like this after adding uh, since it is a cotton uh, cotton means parent class constructor is called then uh, price uh, we add a discount whatever discount uh, they say um, <clears throat> you know that is being uh, calculated so discount here it is 2% is the discount right so verify this all the test cases are passed.